What do you mean, Huns? Are you playing... Uh... Did Genghis Khan impregnate 5% of the population? Oh, it's a Soul Reaver. Okay. I will save now, but Brayden, I need you to see one quickie thing. Thank you, Scott. What of? Food, medical supplies, weaponry. Why don't we just use the communicator to get some help? No. This is a lot. Playing a good game, you're betraying your audience. Oh no, it's Ooga Booga Natives. Oh man. Why does this always happen to these adventure games that I play? I had myself muted for a second. It's fine. Anyway, how... How feeble are your files? On a scale of feebleness. Notice how they gave the communist freedom fighter lady alien boobage? Uh, yeah, how else would you know she's a lady? Skin tight tank top. You're not answering my question. With a backward side facing cap and titty cleavage. How else, how else would you know she's a lady? Imagine, well, if you will, being a Well, Brit Brayden. Well, Brayden. Tell me. Judging from all of this news from The Witcher 3, we know that you can just take HD mods from your community and put in better vagina texture models. That is true. That's what I learned from Game of the Year 2015? Or is it 14? 15. 2015, The Witcher, The Witcher 3, Geralt is here for, for thee. Wait, how did Jatsu miss uh, the vagina mod scandal? Because I, I feel like, word. Are people muting me? Because I, I feel like I've linked this multiple times. Yes, I I know. Basically, for for their uh you know next for the next gen console update for The Witcher Three, it seems like CD Projekt might have uh stolen okay. assets. Let me now click this. I need to show you what this start screen. Looks like. 
so scummy. This is the start screen, right? This is it. Yeah? Hold on, let me let me actually look at this fucking thing. Yeah, that seems look great. I don't know. He's where he's look he looks like Fonzie. Yeah, he he wears a a leather jacket for the hey. first chapter of the game and he hits on a woman and during a dance montage so as that he can talk to his boss and find out why he's in trouble. He's okay. So any Raziel He's he's a wraith, okay? Yeah. He used to be a pretty ma vampire. But then Kane was like, damn son, you too pretty. And then he And then he, he threw him the in shit a pit. Out of him and throws him in a pit. And now and now Raziel is like I well, got it. John Jay is all like, he also threw me in the pit. Let's work together, even though I'm probably gonna betray you. John Jay? Oh, wait, Tony J. I'm John not talking about revolutionary uh, and judicial reformer John J. in American history. I'm talking about Tony J. Yes, you know, acclaimed. Acclaimed voice actor. I'm gonna start rating you. Yeah. And then I'm gonna probably make some food, and then if you are still streaming, I will return to talk to you about this thing. Yeah. Have you heard of Have you heard of Soul Reaver? It's pretty good. Everybody who tuned in to watch me be miserable with the Feeble Files, we are almost at the worst part of the game, which is the arcade. Remember how much I struggled with uh, Cyberpunk, an action thriller, minigame, and that thing where I had to slide a bit? We got an entire sequence like that coming up. I'm getting a little static off of you. Oh, okay. That or it's a little static off of uh, Soul Reaver. Bye. I can't tell which. Might also be just my headphones. Anyway, now that he's gone, let me tell you about adventure games. They're good. I will be back. Okay. Uh, also, what the fuck? Why did I get so many messages on the Discord? Why, why are people thinking I'm possible? Did I do something wrong? Oh, I see podcast and us we disrupted the podcast it's fine and then you said two things ah yes i see a cat wow oh wow that cat is way up there yes that's that's what i meant when i said rafter oh wow so does the cat know how to get down yes okay Yes, Sometimes he was my... he was lured down uh, parents... with treats. My parents have a cat that will get up on high positions and then complain about, you need to help me get back down uh, here. I don't know how to do this. It's like, you stupid ass cat. Um, yeah, so... Uh... No, he, he needed to be lured down with treats. Uh, but then he hung out in my room for like five minutes, and I'm like, oh, he still likes me. You know, the important things. The approval so of animals. I will, I can send you pictures of the cat. Okay. I, I'm going to leave to, wait, what the fuck? The Feeble Files was made available for Warp OS. Of course it was. Oh, right. This is the mobile phone OS, the PowerPC architecture that IBM made for fucking weird Amiga perverts. Hell yeah. I love weird Amiga perverts. Did They're... you know that someone is actually updating Amiga OS? Yeah, the... Yeah, it's a and let me guess, that person is European, right? Uh it's a company, I think. Yeah. Is it just like there's infrastructure that is still reliant on fucking Amiga computers somewhere in the UK? And it's like if if these foes 
all of the United Kingdom will fall with it. By Queen, by yeah. the King's grace. The 2014 update allowed for Amiga OS to use more than two gigabytes of RAM. It seems like really fucking important shit. Okay. Okay, go go eat food. I'm gonna eat food. I will be back if you're still streaming. Bye. All right, time to see if the static bits are him or if it's just this game. That could, yeah. No, listen, the kitty, we're still cool with each other and that's all that matters is that the kitty still thinks I'm cool. Anyway, yeah, they're snakefish mans. And I'm all like, yum, yum, yum. Sometimes I wonder. If there's something weird with the sound. Okay, it is not CP. It sounds like it is this game just sometimes having. Camera, camera. Por favor. Por favor. Okay, so this loops outside, which is not where I need to go. Is this where I get the swimming ability? Because this is the water temple, clearly. Because this is some absolute water temple. Video game. Video game, please.
Is there a way to drain the water? Is there a way to go up? Hello. Let me turn you up a little bit. I said, how goes Soul Reaver? Uh, I'm in the, what appears to be a water temple equivalent. Oh, oh good. I love the idea. I always love the idea of a water temple in a game where falling in the water instantly kills you. Well, it instantly sends me to the spirit realm. I think that counts as dying. It can't, it can't be pleasant. I guess not. Alright, is there anything down here? playing Archeon's campaign earlier, and let me tell you, with the new Souls mechanic for uh, Warriors of Chaos, yeah. he's got a really rough start. Um, um yeah, I, I bet Archeon definitely has a harder one of the... But on the other hand, like, the only big threat you have to deal with immediately is Boris Ursus, who... Well, it, it's, it's not necessarily about, like, the actual fights that are hard it's that all of the factions that surround you at the start don't give you any demons. souls because they're all demon factions they're all fucking demons no no souls you don't yeah. get to use that mechanic you no the game the game wants you to expand in a specific direction that's for sure um and yeah i See, honestly, I think one of my favorite, uh, warrior, I, I think most of the Warriors of Chaos Lords are pretty fun, but I'm going to be real with you. I think Kolek is probably secretly the most fun of those three undivided Lords. Well, you know, and Bellicor is good if you want, like... If you want the demon prince, but good. If you had, uh, if you if you want to have an army mostly consisting of demons, without any of the stupid demon prince mechanics. Imagine. Um, alrighty, uh, Balthazar Gelt or Carl. Uh. I mean, Balthasar Gelt is one of the most difficult campaigns. What was that M? 
Carl. Yeah, Emperor Carl, leader of the humans. Carl Frog. I am. Prince Summon the Man. Elector Counts. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, what were you saying, Brayden? Uh, I think Gelt has one of the harder campaigns right now. Just by virtue of... He doesn't have a 10-slot settlement. Like... Uh... Like Karl Franz does. Oh, is that a 10-slot settlement now? Altdorf is... I believe Altdorf is a 10-slot settlement. Yeah. That's crazy. Um... How's Marcus doing? Honestly, Marcus Wolfhart is probably the most fun Empire campaign right now. Because you get to be the scrappy underdog. I did play I did play a little bit of Volkmar. Uh, Volkmar in the Thunderdome is... Yeah, that's fun uh, too. Because it's like, okay. oh, he gets... He buffs free company. That's God, weird. He, That's fun. He, make, he makes free company and flagellants into straight up nightmares. Um, yeah, I think I'll do Gelt. Gelt gets two artillery pieces in uh, with SFO on. Oh, okay. You're playing with SFO. That that changes things. Yeah. That's uh, that's a different game and one I am less familiar with. Lore of Metal! Lore of Metal. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, this... Some of these... Some of these jumping bits... I'm less fond of. Um... Oh, you've got high jump now. Yeah, I've got high jump. I've ha always had high jump. But, yeah. I bet he felt that uh, on his toes. You know, for a piece of beef jerky, he does have some pretty good hop. Yeah, well, I mean, he's fueled by... hatred. Remember in the third Spyro game on PS1 when they added in that little flutter you can do at the end of a jump that doesn't get you very, like... Yeah, just a little bit of hang time. That might have been Spyro 2, but yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. I fucking hated when they added that shit in, because I never actually knew when to use it. When I was, like, you know, four. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I... I played the Spyro remakes. And by that I mean I 100% at Spyro 1. And then I played Spyro 2 and was like, this seems like a way better game, and then got distracted. <laughs> and then I never played 3 uh, as a result. Well, the thing I'll say about Spyro 3 is, um... Based on my memories... Ah, oh, fuck. God damn it. The camera in this game is, is um... You know, it's from 1999. Let's say. Politely. Politely. The camera is your enemy. Uh, the, I... I have encountered worse cameras in my time, but only just barely. Uh, I mean, this ain't fucking Kingdom Hearts, at least. When we're, when I never we're actually played. I never actually played much Kingdom Hearts. Uh, hey, I I like I like some of those games. That is my general feelings on Kingdom Hearts. Is I like some of those games. Ah, fuck. Uh, I'm being told, uh, 
by Boom the Alien, who is uh, starting to play Total Warhammer 3, that the dwarfs continue to be angry at him. Uh, Boom the Alien, uh, I am sorry to tell you this, uh, but dwarves being angry at you is the only interaction you're ever going to have with dwarves. Um, unless you are also a dwarf. Unless you are also a dwarf. You see, they and have even this, then. They have this fancy mechanic where... If you do anything wrong, uh, they never forget about it. So, uh, he's yeah, he's playing his green skins. So, oh yeah, uh, you're uh, doomed from the start, bud. Yeah, doomed from the nah. See, what you did was you existed as an orc. That was all it took. Yeah. That's what I said. I said, you're groby scum. <laughs> you're groby. Why you gotta pull out the dwarf? Why you gotta pull out the dwarf derogatory terms? Why you don't gotta be... You don't gotta do them like that. Okay, nope. I just went in. Is this a circle? No. I'm gonna save here so I don't have to do this again. I assume there's some way for me to drain the water. And it's going to drive me to the end. I just want to say, water temple's always bad. I still think my least favorite water temple had to be the one from uh, Twilight Princess. Oh, uh, I don't even remember that one. <clears throat> Is that the one where you get the claw shot? I think it. I think so. My issue wasn't necessarily with the temple itself. I figured out the temple. The problem was is that I played Ocar I played Twilight Princess about halfway through on the Wii, and then uh -huh. my Wii broke, and so I had to switch to the GameCube version. Uh huh. And the GameCube version is, is reversed. Me yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Wii they mirrored the Wii version. Uh, and I I never did figure out how to do it uh backwards or sideways or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's impressive how much just mirroring the world can fuck with your perception. Anyway, yeah, the thing about the green skin dwarf matchup is that dwarfs have the advantage. Like, because the only good green skin uh, armor piercing early on is, uh, like... Oh, boys, the Nasty Skulkers. Nasty Skulkers and, uh, trolls. Just throw them in the water. Nah, they're, these are the swimming vampires. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah. that makes sense. Water temple. So I gotta throw them on these conveniently placed spikes. Uh, if you do get nasty skulkers for the dwarves, uh, don't put them in a front. Don't 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 put them in a in a like straight up slugging match. They'll just run away. Uh, oh yeah, no, no, they're nasty skulkers have stock. You should use them like the stealth units they are. I'll always like that the nasty skulkers like have that I can't remember what a bit like what the name of the ability is but they've got like a little ability that makes them that gives them extra melee attack and armor piercing damage but only if they're winning the fight so if they win a fight they win it hard we just threw that torch at him But yeah, then I remembered that the Nasty Skulkers are uh, only in the Skarsnik DLC. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, that's And it's rough. one of those things where, like, I I barely remember these things. But I also own everything. <clears throat> yeah, no, uh, you know what, me too. Um, 
And I got all of the I got all of the game one DLC all at the same time when I got into game two because it was all on sale yeah. at the time. So like I have no idea what units are associated with who in game one. And you know, uh, for some of them, like some of those DLC units make a big difference. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, Sisters of Avalorn like... give the high elves their high tier archers. It's crazy that those were a DLC. Those were like critical to the to the uh I was gonna say. Those were like critical oh. to um, like the high elf fantasy. Yeah. I was missing a uh, climbing point. Oh, cool. Is that save file just busted? Oh, that'd fucking suck. It's good. I have alternating save slots. Sucks a little less. That's that's why you alternate save slots. So, Harley, how do you feel about Chaos Dwarfs? Uh, I've got no opinions on Chaos Dwarfs because I didn't play at the tabletop. Yeah, but you know they're coming. I also, think... no one... For what... Like... You need to understand that, yeah, it seems like Chaos Dwarfs, once we once we get to Chaos Dwarfs, it's just like... Oh, they had, like, two army books total throughout the entire history of Warhammer Fantasy. But, uh, they're dwarfs who are evil and worship a bull demon. Finally. Uh, no, I think, uh, I heard that they have, uh... They have evil demon choo-choo trains? Yeah, they have evil demon trains. Um, so I think... I think that'll be fun. Just 
realize the Empire has fucking four kinds of heroes. Yep. That's a lot of fucking. That's a lot of heroes. Not as many as the Skaven. Okay, well, the Skaven fucking cheat. Before, uh, in 2, when they put out the Throt DLC, uh, they, there, there literally wasn't enough room on the UI for both the Chieftain and the Packmaster. Because they got uh, Assassin, they got Engineer, they got Plague Priest, they got Eshin Sorcerer. They got not Plague Priest, the other kind of Warlock Engineer. Uh, they got Chieftain, and they got... Um... Oh, video game, why, why do you make me do this platforming? Don't forget, they also have the special kinds of engineer and the yep. special kind of priest. That's true, they do. Oh, Relkin's coming in. Relkin. After hanging out with all of his anime teen friends in Trails of Cold Steel. Choo Choo goes the train. Is this where I drain the water? Doesn't swear fealty. Doesn't swear fealty. Okay. Not bad. That's not nearly as bad as Carl's start. them. Mid and land. Thank you. Boris Toddbringer. Thank you. Listen land. Thank you. At some point they'll add Boris and people will be like, ah, thank goodness. Boris Toddbringer. Boris Toddbringer. He hates Kazrak One-Eye. And they don't start near each other. They do. Oh, right. Oh, God, that's right. They moved Kazrak. Yeah, they moved. They switched Kazrak and uh, Morgur. Yeah. Yeah, Boris Toddbringer, he brings the Todd. And I. But I believe uh, Todd in German means death. As in, yeah. you know, Kom Suser Todd. They bring it. Yeah. 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 Um, What's up? How are the anime teens doing? Huh? Oh, we lost Relkin. Damn, that was fast. He's like, uh, Alisa R is my waifu. And I'm all like, but you should date my your teacher. No, oh, fuck you. <laughs> hey, man, she's down. She's cool. She's hip with the kids. She, she day drinks. Children. I'm not even going to ask. What fucking game are you playing? Trails of Any Cold JRPG Steel. Nowadays, where they're just like, what if your what if your adolescent boy could fucking adult woman? Hey, you don't fuck. Uh-huh, it's just off screen. I mean, I don't know. I haven't I have not played these games. All I know is How do you feel about Kawakami? Welcome well I okay. Seriously or jokingly? Are you 
made both. that word up. Kawakami is His like endemic of five. she's your teacher in Persona 5. Who is also your maid and calls you master. Yeah, um, because she has a fucked up situation. Um, so my general feelings on uh, that what? are that she ate? a lot of a lot of when you realize that it is nine thirty. Persona right is trying to cater to the fans of those games who are now adults because it took them so oh, fucking probably. long to make five. Yeah, well, what if they just made the characters adults? Uh, Put them in college. That's Put not. That doesn't work for the fantasy. It should. Because Japanese college, you're just like, oh, I'm gonna study until I die, and then I'm gonna work until I die, because you're not allowed to have fun as an adult in Japan. I've learned. It's just like, oh, I'm a salary man forever now. Oh, you're. Are you just at the end of Ground Abbey? Yeah. Hey, Braid, you could probably just beat this game today. Raphael. Just a heads up. It's that Maybe. short? It's not a long wow. game. Like, there definitely was you a lot of this game that was well just, like, getting lost and finding one, your way so through. Adjusted. Do not mock me, Raphael. Like, I can check out game facts again, but I don't want to say there's not much the power past bestowed. Oh, by yeah, um. Overcome. I can't remember the fucking YouTuber, but a YouTuber did a retrospective on this game, murderer? like, a couple months ago. Well and, and he said that he played time. through it twice. What once blind, and then once that you would after he played through it the first time. And, I will indeed. uh, the time difference me, between the two plays was staggering. It took him, like, Do you maybe know what four hours to beat the game the second time. You might not be able to beat it. The antithesis of all we ever believed. No, it depends. I don't remember how long we were lost. Was the next area. He saved us. Saved us. I'm sorry. I'm talking over this. From what? Off. From ourselves. Those are guns. My bad. <laughs> All right. Hadoken. Eh? Oh, I remember how you fight this guy. Okay. Tell me if you need help. Hadoken. Nope. You got the right idea. Kind of. Would you like to know what part of your idea is correct? The part where I shoot sonic blasts at him. It's the part where you shoot sonic blasts. Oh, I see. I fucking see. Ah, uh, yes. Classic. We have to take advantage of his weakness because we're a fuck. You're we're a fucked up ghost. Yeah. I'm a fucked up ghost, and Cain will die. Cain. Oh no. Gotta. <sighs> Jump. In my mind, it absolutely makes the Wumpa Fruit noise. Sure. That fucking. That fucking Dementor's gonna get you. The only. Dementor, I acknowledge, is the the specter of uh, J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling, etc., etc., etc. I don't want to talk about that game. Don't have to. I'm not going to. Okay. Because. Ah, sunlight. But yeah, so my point about Persona 5 is that, like, yeah, they they tried to age up with their audience, but because they're so in, married to the idea of having a teen protagonist, it, it gets weird and icky. 
Yeah, even if he wasn't underage, she's still his teacher. It's like, cool, you're just setting up Joker to have abuse of relations with women for in the rest of his life. Soul. That's cool. You have overcome your form of Oh, now I can swim. Yeah. Immersion in water will no longer dissolve your physical body, enabling you to swim to areas heretofore beyond your reach. Tell me, yeah. Tony J. Where do you see? Now you can swim, Rosier. Oh, you can high jump out of water, huh? Yeah, I want to say that this is the point where you have access to basically the entire world. Yeah. So, the thing... One of the things I think is actually kind of brilliant about this game are seeing all the ways that they clearly, um had plans for something grander like clearly took what what they had what they could get running on a playstation and managed to cobble it together in a way that Beyond feels cohesive the of the it abyss, also makes the second game make so much more sense like that that is such a more tightly of your designed brother, thing. Duma, it's not anywhere near as with Rahab Sower. You may swim I think open in this video is where your progress was previously impeded. Now you can swim, which lets you swim. Alright. So we gotta go to uh the Duahim. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Got this useless map. This useless, useless map. Useless map. God, I feel like I'm looking at like an old, like WoW dungeon overhead map thing that somebody. I mean, it got. literally looks like a GameFAX JPEG. Like, okay, uh, molten core. Uh, first, you want to go here. You can tell everybody how to get attuned. Just follow this guide. you all get ready for Blackwing Lair. I'm nodding my head. The original WoW. Um, Original wow. Yeah, I've I've heard of this. Wow. Oh my God, I fucking hate Outriders so much. I don't remember how you just uh, advance from here, but presumably it's through water. Okay. Well, I can't go back the way I came forward which means by by definition I have to go the other way really deduction no Holmes. run into the fucking I I was thinking about playing Devil's Daughter before Sherlock Holmes the Awakened I mean yeah you have to play that in chapter 1 yeah you gotta do it in order. Surely you'll enjoy Devil's Daughter. Yeah. Crimes and Punishments was great. Yeah, surely no another game backwards. in that format would be good. There's no way that maybe Crimes and Punishments might have been a fluke. Yeah, okay. I don't know, I'd like to see Chapter 1. I want to know if, if, if Crimes and Punishment was a fluke, or maybe if it was just Devil's Daughter was a, a back step. Yeah, I think I think the sound is fucked up on this mod. And I'm not quite sure why. But it's fine. Yeah, some of these sound effects don't seem like they're coming in. Yeah, it's weird. And I mean part of that might be just my volume settings. I don't know. But beat them with a an unlit torch? It's not gonna do anything, it's just wood. They don't care about wood. These swimming controls are not great. No, they're not. Nope. Come on. There we go. 
every unit in my army did super good in that fight, except the Outriders. You just treat Outriders like handgunners who can move. Not in my head. They're, they're well, people I'm... on horses with guns. You know what I'm gonna treat them like? I'm gonna treat them like pistoliers by replacing them with pistoliers. I mean, you could do that. Pistoliers are better skirmish, Cav. Not as much damage output. But now I can swim! And now I can break that glass with the power of sound blast. Here you go. That's probably the right way forward. And if not, there's probably a piece of heart down here. I hope not. Because there's no way you're going to find enough to make another before you're done. No, I'm... Some of them are definitely just, like, in the middle of, like, an old area that you have no other reason to return to. Should I shift? Who knows? Who can say? Who can say where the wind blows, where the grass grows, only time? And who can say where the soul reaves? Where Raziel grieves. Uh, no, just keep going. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah. Uh, welcome to my Enya parody. Um. Block. We, we like to have fun here. Shoutouts to Enya. She's Irish, right? Or she's Scottish? I don't know. Those are the same thing, right? Speaking of someone who is both. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What what is this? It's a soul soul reaver. This is turning into a Rick and Morty bit. This elemental. Oh, fuck yeah! To the Soul Reaver's energy. Look, I can set Once my Soul Reaver on fire. Primordial flame. The blade may be imbued with fire at any future time. Yeah! Surely this was. the way I was supposed to go. Look, look, Ma, I got Fire Blade. And it's gone. And it's gone, because now I'm back in the water. Oh, you got the Fire Blade? Oh, yeah. Man, that's, that's a bummer. Well, what are you talking about? Surely it's like the, uh... You it's know, it's... It's not where you're supposed to go, so... I'm just, I'm just a, a simple man trying to make my way. Doing everything you can? Yeah, here I am. Doing everything I can. Doing all of what I am. Pretending I'm a Superman. You know? I have almost completed Tony Hawk 1. Nice. At 100%. I just need to do the last two competition levels. Oh, yeah, those, those are... are those are fuckers. Because you need, like, more than 150,000. Okay, did I just go in a circle? Let's find out. You might have. Sure did.
I'm just holding on to what I am, pretending I'm a Superman. No, I get it. Feeling younger in my mind. Uh, yeah, it turns out Tony Hawk is really good. Weird. It's and like, like getting better either. at those games and getting better at like being able to manual into a revert into resetting, you know, into doing more tricks is fun. Yep. They were real good for a while there. And, you know, it sure is great that Vicarious Visions is still an in a, a studio that exists and wasn't just absorbed into the, the fucking gaping maw of Blizzard because they hem they've been hemorrhaging so many employees. Yeah, it's great. Okay, where where is this video game, where am I? Uh, this camera is from 1999. It is what it is. Yeah. You know, now that you can swim, isn't there like a big watery section in the room you start the game in? Yes. But now I'm here in these caves being hunted with a, only a vague inclination of where I am or where I'm going um, that's video games that's video games listen it's fine I installed Soul Reaver 2 and Defiance and Blood Omen 2 sure because I like to have fun um, oh, hey, that's, that's like one of three harpoons in the entire game. Um, okay, this is not the way. I, I don't know what the purpose of that room was. Who can who can say about the vagaries of Kane's whims? The vagaries of this was much, going to be a much bigger area at one point. <laughs> and then they had to cut it down because making video games is hard. people have found, like, entire levels in the game's files that are just dummied out. But, you know, it's fine. Yeah, there's apparently a mod for Blood Omen 2 that restores a bunch of cut content. Is that a good thing? I've never pl I I don't know. I hear that game's bad. But I installed it. Of course. Thanks, Icon. Look, I'm playing a good game. You people can't judge me. I mean, you still can. And well, a bold statement. I could judge you for anything. Listen, I'm just here. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is a good video game. I I don't I don't like this accusing tone. Kids love the Soul Reaver. Yes, kids are aware of the Soul Reaver. Just wait until they put Raziel and Kane in Soul in Fortnite. In, in Smash? No, in Fortnite. Ima See? Huh? Huh? Are you sold? What if you could pull out a fake AK-47 as Kane, and then for your taunt you go, Ve Victus! <sighs> Huh? I bet I could just find a good party in, in Vermintide. How about that? Impossible. Apparently. Um. I love when teams are just like, what if we ran away from each other? It's amazing the level of discoordination you can find in a game that's about moving down essentially a corridor. Yep. It's good. It's definitely has not filled me with um, an un an unreasonable bloodlust before. I run across so many groups that are amazing, um, but then you just run into one that it's just like, no, I don't want to play with people. It's like, well, why are you? Why are you playing? Why are you in my fucking game? <laughs> why? Are, why are you playing the video game if you don't want to? Why are you playing this teamwork focused video game? I actually kind of wish that I could prevent people who are quick playing from entering my game and just have a people who are server browsing. I feel like that shouldn't be hard to do, but I don't know anything about how video games work. If only you lived with someone who was a game designer. <laughs> I'm sorry, M is an author now, not a game designer anymore? Uh, then, but her Twitter handle is GameMakerM. Hey, M, I need you to change your Twitter hand. Awesome. What? I need you to change your Twitter handle so I can win this fake argument real fast. Help. Help me. I'm trapped in the water. I am being nice to your wife. I'm including her in on this joke. found your way forward yet? Bring nope. Right. Actually, M's Twitter handle is uh, Canon Warrior of Light, but sure. Okay. I can bring up uh, game facts if you Yeah. Can. Yeah. Just fucking do it. My it's patience okay, is at a low point. Your main. Uh, well... You are misrepresenting. Uh, head back to Gateway Zero, which is presumably the one without an uh, icon. Okay. Uh, exit to the door, go left, and you'll come to the Lake of the Dead. Keep going forward across the bridge and jump over where there's a gap. You'll now be at a broken bridge, and the path is directly in front of you. Jump down to the water, and then uh, get out on the other side. Okay. Will the video game let me leave this area? I don't know. Just find a, a teleport. I hope there are no Legacy of Kane super fans out there being like, yeah, finally a stream of my favorite video game, The Legacy of Kane. I it won't let me go back through here. Alright, well, there's gotta be a teleport door somewhere. Alright. Well, time to look at the the in-game map to see what I can in the original release. Yep, that was definitely the original release. Okay, it's um No, I got the I got the fire. Uh sword. Boy, this map is very bad. It seems like it's a map made for people who have played the game a bunch. thousand hours of Final Fantasy uh, 14 is rookie numbers. You've got to pump those numbers up. Wait, can I... Down. Okay, so... 
I'm looking at this map and I see the teleport but it's behind the door was the one further into the dungeon you were in maybe just saying they don't at any point softlock you in this game Maybe I'm the first. Yes, you discovered found a, it. Discovered a whole new way to suck at Legacy of Cain. Yeah. This element. All right, I got the Fire Reaver. Again. Again. For reasons. Hey, surely... Surely this wasn't just an item that was... Cut. Was almost cut from the game, but they decided to include it. Okay, so I'm right there. Let's see, there's... There is an, there is an underwater passage in this area. It looks like. I fucking forgot what this map looks like. That is unfucking readable. Yeah, it's because it's not an it's not a real map. Um, I don't know. Also, Icon, how many hours have you put into Borderlands? Not to not to call well, call anyone what? out here. I feel called out. Oh, Harley, I'm I'm sorry. Do you are you a big fan of Tiny Tina? I mean, I like the character, not a super big fan of the game that just came out. No. Um, never understood all the hate for Tiny Tina in that, in that second game. She's barely in it. She is there not the worst. That... She is... I forgot she existed until near the end of that game when she started popping up again. She's... There were listen, people fucking... who didn't like Tiny Tina. The people out there who... Like, I fucking hate Handsome Jack. That's a, that's me. Oh, he's so good in Tales, though. He's... Oh, yeah, because... They did such a great job with him. Cause, yeah, they, they salvaged that character... They, they make one of the most obnoxious characters in the series, like, a good... Powerless? They, yeah, they make him powerless, but still an antagonist. It's good. It's almost like Tales from the Borderlands is the best Borderlands thing. And the best Telltale thing. Yeah. I could accept that argument. Diplomacy. What I watched of Joku playing the Batman one seemed pretty good. But also, boy. You know, some of. I'm very glad. Um, I do not have to write episodic video games. Especially episodic video games that are released on a schedule. I'm sure this... I'm sure this is... Okay. Another bad group. That's great. Alright. Time to look at game facts. Uh, let me see what it said about the end of that chapter. Once all the stained glass windows are broken, Rahab will burn. You will inherit the ability to swim. Okay. It literally just says uh, head to gateway zero. You you must have just you you are missing something obvious. Yes. Yeah, and it's going to make me super mad. 
like there was just a teleport and you're like right or, after the boss chamber. Or yeah, something. or it's gonna be, um... You sure it's not a, uh, like, plane thing? Like switching between the spectrum? Maybe, maybe it's switching between the planes, maybe it's like I just have to hit it with the sound blast. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to feel very stupid, I'm sure. I'm gonna assume that you can't beat this today. <laughs> you no. spent half an hour well, doing nothing. Can't you go through those grates while you're in the spectral world? Yeah. Actually, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Um, if you game over, don't you just show up at the at the uh, beginning? Do you? Hmm. Let it kill you. You saved, right? Yeah. Okay, then die. Rev Solar. Let's let stuff kill you. See what happens. Hey, come get me. Hey, hit me. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. You, Ow. as soon as you want to die, them boys. I don't Ow. really think we're gonna hit Ow. you. I don't think we're gonna do it. Ow. 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 Oh, you. As my agent, you are beyond death. Right, yeah, I have it right. Your yep. enemies cannot destroy you. There you go. This is it literally the first time I have however, died. You will always be drawn here game. to recover. Congratulations, Brad. You haven't died in an easy game. Centuries passed. Your brother Dumas Want a cookie? retreated with his clan into Nosgoth's northern wilderness. Empowered by the gift of Rahab's soul, seek out his mountain stronghold. What is a fucking heaven. grand master? These frozen wastes have mysteries yet to disclose. Yeah, dialogue. There is a whole fourth kind of le of lord for the empire in SFO. In SFO, is it what like a witch hunter general? No, it's a grand master. It's marked with a horse symbol. I think this is a fucking cavalry lord. Hmm. One eight hundred four Sigmar is a very good name. One eight hundred. I hope they don't suck. If only, yeah. One eight hundred four Sigmar. One eight hundred four Sigmar. Uh, one eight hundred Sigmar. One eight hundred cars for kids. Spend eighteen hundred gold recruiting this guy. Are you fucking shirtless? You better not be fucking shirtless. You're not. You just have a really scuffed model. All right, Ralph. What do you do? All right. Can I swim from here? Is that? Hmm. Yeah, all right, let's see. The well's right here. This is this is a useless map. All right, he is in fact a cavalry lord. He has six. He has six unique skill trees. Uh, that are exclusive to each that are like mutually exclusive for the different kinds of knights available to yeah the this all sounds knights. exactly like what I would expect from an SFO Lord is just like oh yeah no he has 18 skill trees well but you can only use one of them okay like you you basically you pick a kind of knight 
that's going to be the focus of this character's army. kind of weird. Put three new kinds of knights into the game for the Empire, but didn't include them in the red line skill tree. Mm. There we go. I wish there was a new Legacy of Cain game, brings back memories. Yeah, this game's pretty rad. Uh, I, I think, you know, the gameplay of these games is pretty of the time, but I think, I think it's molecular vibes. It's yeah, it's it's a tone. It's a tone and vibes thing. It's just like these vampires are gonna travel through time and soliloquize about the nature of free will and then they're gonna kiss in my fanfiction. Um Because in, in my mind, and I'm sure Amy Hennig, when she was writing these games, was like, mm. you know what? You know, Kane and Raziel, a lot of tension. Yeah, I can relieve that tension. Kissing. Mm hmm. That this is this is as far as I'm concerned, this is canon. Um, I haven't played the finance. Who knows? What a weird decision to make. All right, let me set my beam sword on fire. How do I? How do I? Okay, here we go. Surely this upgrade is worthwhile and good. Oh right, you can sneak in this game. Oh yeah, you're in the winter. You're oh, video game. You're getting there. Video game. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Ostermark. Why? Ostermark. Why do you do this to me, video game? I. What happened? It crashed again. Yep. That happens. I guess what? Old video game running on a fan patch that itself is. Maybe not. I, I think might predate Windows 10. To be expected. Uh. 
And you know... The thing I'll say uh, is having... It seems like I'm going to have a lot of fun trying to get the controller to work correctly with um, Soul Reaver 2 and Defiance based on the limited amount of testing. Oh, Maggie. It's your bed not complete. It's bedtime for old lady dogs. Come on. Come on. Bedtime there. for old lady dogs. My favorite. Young no country novel. for old lady dogs. See, I was going to make a young adult novel joke, like, Bedtime for Old Lady Dogs is like, it's like because of Winn-Dixie or uh, Shiloh. Just, just an innumerable number of young adult novels from 70s, 80s, 90s about little kids who encounter dogs and then something bad happens to the dog. And you learn, and that's how you learn about death. As opposed and, to, you know, anything in your life actually happening. No, and that's how you win the Newbery Medal, is uh, you, you write a book about that. I'm a bucket. Um, I'm a bucket improving my relationship with Ostermark make them less likely to sign a pact with me. Uh, because, uh, the AI in Warhammer is weird. But also because, um, if you're, if you do a, if you're in alliance with them, they count you as at least part of their strength. Okay, I assume. Got a shift or something here. Climbing wall I'm missing. There might be. I find I find the climbable wall texture hard to distinguish. That's what They look rougher. Yeah. Yeah, against, against all these other rocks. Uh, yeah, against uh, all textures. these other PS1 textures. This sundial. Crystal apple. Who's 
fuck am I trespassing on in this? Is there a, like, escape? Alright. Time to look at game facts, cause... Cause you're stuck again. Cause I'm stuck again. In the middle of the courtyard, if you look to the right, you will see a scalable surface. Of course. Oh, I'm supposed to kill Sylvania. Yeah, yeah, your only objective as Gelt is to get rid of Sylvania. Okay. I, I, can, I can do that. I, I can definitely do that. You know how many men have said they could do that? Said they could slay Vlad von Karstein? Probably a bunch. But, and this is critical, none of them were me. Balthazar Gelt! I ain't saying that they were weak. I'm saying they are weak. Oh. Well, I found the warp room. Game. Ah, yes, this wall texture that looks barely different from the other wall texture. If you weren't so gosh dang, gosh darn cool video game, I would have thrown you into the pile. But instead, here I am. Doing everything I can, doing all of what I am, pretending I'm Superman. Um. This city once teemed with the life of my kind. Could it be that other clans had suffered the same fate as mine? In his madness, could Cain spare none of his brood? Oh. It was not Cain, but Dumas' own arrogance that brought the downfall of his clan. These are human weapons, Raziel. Believing themselves invincible, Duma and his offspring fail to see an attack coming from the least likely assailants. Complacent in their arrogance, they were taken by surprise, allowing the human vampire hunters to decimate their ranks with little oh, resistance. Oh, that's weird. The few that I think the end of Athens and the end will be bugged on me. Ooh. Oh, now they came back. There's an entire sequence where no enemies were spawning. That was weird. All right, I'll New save school, here. But... And I think we'll call it for today because it's a little it's starting to get a little late. But hey, I guess I'll finish this next time. Definitely. Because according to you Game Facts. Um, there is not much left to do. There are basically two dungeons left. This one and the next one. And then I get to do Soul Reaver 2, and uh, I guess that game more explicitly ties back into Blood Omen, so that should be fun. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Remember, if I can get 15 subscriber points, I'll do the, the wheel of dubious character action games. Ooh. I will go to my parents' house and get the fucking Xbox 360 to play Ninja Blade if I have to. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That is a...